Infrared astronomy is the detection and study of the infrared radiation, or heat energy, emitted from objects in the universe. Every object that has a temperature radiates in the infrared, so infrared astronomy involves the study of just about everything in the universe. The universe sends us a tremendous amount of information in the form of electromagnetic radiation, or light. Much of this information is in the infrared, which we cannot see with our eyes or with visible light telescopes. Only a small amount of this infrared information reaches the Earth's surface, yet by studying this small range of infrared wavelengths, astronomers have uncovered a wealth of new information. In space, there are many regions which are hidden from optical telescopes because they are embedded in dense regions of gas and dust. Infrared radiation, having wavelengths which are much longer than visible light, can pass through dusty regions of space without being scattered, so we can study objects hidden by gas and dust, such as the center of our galaxy and regions of newly forming stars. In the 1970s, astronomers around the world began to consider the possibility of placing an infrared telescope on a satellite in orbit around the Earth. This telescope would be above the Earth's atmosphere and could view the sky at the far infrared wavelengths which were difficult to detect on Earth. It could view a large area of the sky and observe regions for a longer period of time. By 1977, an international collaboration was formed by the Netherlands, United States, and Great Britain to develop IRIS, the Infrared Astronomical Satellite. IRIS launched in January of 1983 into a sun-synchronous near-polar orbit, detected about 350,000 infrared sources, increasing the number of cataloged astronomical sources by about 70%. Only since the early 1980s have we been able to send infrared telescopes into orbit around the Earth, above the atmosphere, which hides most of the universe's light from us. The new discoveries made by these infrared satellite missions has been astounding. In the infrared, astronomers can gather information about the universe as it was a very long time ago and study the early evolution of the galaxies. As a result of the Big Bang, the universe is expanding and most of the galaxies within it are moving away from each other. Astronomers have discovered that all distant galaxies are moving away from us and that the further away they are, the faster they are moving. This recession of galaxies away from us has an interesting effect on the light emitted from these galaxies. When an object is moving away from us, the light that it emits is red-shifted. This means that the wavelengths get longer and thereby shifted towards the red part of the spectrum. This effect is called the Doppler effect. As a result of this Doppler effect, at large redshifts, all of the ultraviolet and much of the visible light from distant sources is shifted into the infrared part of the spectrum by the time it reaches our telescopes. This means that the only way to study this light is in the infrared. Infrared astronomy will provide a great deal of information on how and when the universe was formed and on what the early universe was like. Objects which can be seen in the visible light can also be studied in the infrared. Infrared astronomy can not only allow us to discover new objects and view previously unseen areas of the universe, but it can add to what we already know about visible objects. To get a complete picture of any object in the universe, we need to study all of the radiation that it emits. Infrared astronomy has and will continue to add a great deal to our knowledge about the universe and the origins of our solar system. There are sources available online with galleries of photos, videos, and detailed information about existing and planned missions.